No, pero deja que ya termine. Deja que ya termine. Machado. No. Uh, my whole career just give me the opportunity to uh, provide uh, the best way possible for my family, for my kids, for my wife, for my mom, and. When you have those kind of things in your mind, you are uh, you are working hard at every moment. You know. Is there any stone left unturned, or any fight maybe you would have wanted at, at a certain point in time, or do you feel you fought everyone in your era and to the best of your ability? I, I fought everybody, everybody, and I'm really happy with that. Where my career was in there. Yeah. Have they ever called you the Latin Mayweather? Have mm. they ever compared you to Floyd Mayweather? No. No, never. ever? Never. Miguel, uh, Eric said you said you would fight anybody for this fight. Yeah. Bring anybody. Did you ask him for Canelo again? Uh, Canelo, since he, his fight with uh, Triple G was a uh, tie, was a draw. Uh, they are waiting for the moment to make the rematch. You know? But if there wasn't um, a draw and Canelo won that fight, do you think they would have done it? We don't know exactly what happened, what really happened after that, but probably it was a probability for us. What does it mean to you to end your career here in the place that you built, basically rebuild boxing at Madison Square Garden? You know, it's, we can't find a better place to end my, to end my career than that in uh, Madison Square Garden. Miguel, do you see a lot of yourself in um, Alberto Machado? Know that you're going to retire? Oh. We are totally different boxers, but when you have a, your family with you at every moment, anything is possible, you know, anything. You can you can do whatever you, do, you want to do in life. And I, and uh, Alberto, He's a big supporter of his family. As this promoter, what's the biggest fight you're gonna make for 2018? We don't, we, uh, we don't know. You know, I'm so uh, uh, focused on my fight on Saturday, and after the, after then, we can talk about it much else. Yeah, you arguably have the greatest left hook of all time. Is there anybody out there now who you can maybe pass the reins on to that has a left hook that you looked at that you think is maybe you know good? I'm not, I'm not a real follower of. of a boxing, you know, okay. uh, and I, I, I so I'm so far uh, on the on the uh, prospect that we have right now. Okay. But I need to I need to retake my passion for boxing and keep watching the boxers. Have you seen Danny Garcia's left hook? Yeah. Uh, I didn't pay attention to him, you know. Okay. Miguel, you're gonna be in the Hall of Fame. Okay? You're a great champion. But if I had to ask you who's the best fighter you ever faced, one guy, the best that Miguel Cotto has ever faced, who would you say this guy is? I believe that uh, we can say that that was Floyd Mayweather. He, he was really smart. No, estamos, estamos bien, estamos tranquilos, estamos eh, simplemente esperando y nos iremos a entrenar ahora en la tarde, pero simplemente estamos a la espera de que llegue el momento. ¿Podrías hablar un poquito de las estrategias para el sábado? No, las estrategias las tiene pre, Freddy eh, predispuesta, hecha y nosotros solo seguiremos las instrucciones de Freddy. Bueno, gracias.